you understand, the central banks and the public, they think of inflation as an increase in the price of your groceries. Uh, that, I think, is a symptom. Another symptom of inflation is an increase in the value of your property, an increase in the valuation of your stock portfolio, and so forth and so on. So, once we have this in mind, that price increases of assets and of consumer goods and services are all symptoms of inflation. Then we measure inflation as an increase in the liquidity of a country like the money supply or the, the monetary base and the different measures how to measure the size of the money pot. But anyway, it would seem to me that the wave of asset inflation we had, 1980-81 to approximately 2020, that this golden age of asset prices going up is over. Now, from here on, investors should contain their expectations. And in some cases, they have to maybe live with the fact that in 10, 20 years' time, uh, their portfolios in real terms, inflation adjusted, will be down. If you bought stocks in America in 1964 or 66, by 1982, inflation adjusted, you were down. And I believe inflation adjusted, a lot of assets will go down. Now, in life, if you have a hundred and in 10 years time, you wake up and have only 70. As long as all the other people are down to 50, you have increased your relative wealth. On the other hand, if you have a hundred and you go to 150, you may feel good, but if all everybody else has 200, it's in real terms not desirable. So I would not worry too much about losing money as long as you lose less than other people because then your purchasing power goes up. And so I try to communicate to investors the returns going forward uh, on assets will be disappointing. Now, I mentioned these special situations before, because even if the overall returns are disappointing, you can still find here and there an asset that goes up a lot. This year, sugar has performed very well. Other commodities haven't done well. Gold has done okay, nothing special. But in my view, precious metals in physical form are still attractive. And I would uh, use the present weakness uh, especially if it extends a bit more as a, uh, an entry point.